You know, at some point doing reviews, I kind of feel bad for crapping on horror films like this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Movie Important's movie review of The Possession of Hannah Grace, the newest film from director Diederich von Rogen, and stars Shay Mitchell, Kirby Johnson, and Nick Thune. Uh, okay, so uh, Possession of Hannah Grace is another horror film that comes out this year that is crap. Um, it's about this lay, about this woman played by Shay Mitchell, who is, you know, she had some issues in the police force, so she lost her job. She had her partner was killed, so now she's working in a morgue. Uh, there's this woman that's played by Kirby Johnson who's possessed, and her father kills her. To you know, to kill her to get out the demon out of her, and then the body ends up at the morgue where Shane Mitchell was working, and then crazy things start to happen, and this all takes place in one night, and this movie just sucks. And ever, you know what? I'm I'm sorry, I can't not say this movie not sucks because it does. I knew it going in that it was gonna suck, but for purposes of review and having a review channel, you have to see these types of movies sometimes because you need to give your opinion on them. And it's not the saying that the cast isn't enjoying what they're doing but this is just another horror film that doesn't do anything it doesn't go anywhere the third act is terrible you know i'm sorry the acting is pretty terrible the direction is pretty terrible the movie looks bland everything about this movie just doesn't work and it's not to say it's as bad as slenderman because it's not because it has some cool atmosphere the use of a morgue is kind of fun the idea that this woman has a past where her you know where she was a cop and this guy accidentally shot or he shot her partner and she couldn't save him because she didn't pull the gun fast enough. That's interesting, but it just the whole idea of possession is kind of overplayed now. It's boring. It just seems like every movie that's a horror film like this, whether it be the nun or, you know, just the possession of blah, 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 or the, the exorcism, blah, blah, blah. The only one that I've actually enjoyed is the one that Scott Derrickson did. The, I think it was Exorcism of Emily Rose. That was pretty creepy, but he knows how to do good horror. This just feels like a slapdash way for Sony to make some money off people like me or the people, you know, that go see these types of movies because like Slenderman, there's no use for these types of movies outside of just kids going to see them. They're not, this movie's not going to make a lot of money. It's there for a couple of weeks and then it's gone. And I just I don't have anything to say that's good about this movie that is worth even noting. You know what's going to happen. You know how it's going to happen. You know a bunch of people are going to die. You know, I'm not even going to go non-spoiler on this because the people you think are going to die, die. You think the the people that you think are going to live, live. You know that the creature is going to is going to dissipate and disappear and is going to pop up in different places. And it tries to be unsettling, but... After you've seen movies like Sinister, after you've seen movies like, you know, the Possession movies, like even um, the Exor- even like movies like The Exorcist, you get a sense that this is just not up to snuff at any point. You feel bad for the actors. They're just getting a paycheck. You know that. And I'm not a director. I'm not directing these movies, so I can't really talk. But as a reviewer... Giving my opinion, this movie just plain sucks. That's all I can say about it. It's one of the worst movies I've seen this year, and I knew it was going to be. But you know what? It is what it is. It's a movie. We move on. We find other movies to review. I'm excited because December looks like a chock full of great movies coming out this month from Spider-Man to Aquaman. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. If you want to see it, go see it. If not, you know, good for <laughs> good for you, I guess. But that's it. That's going to be my take on the possession of Hannah Grace. Not much to talk about because there's not really much worthy to talk about outside of cheap thrills and cheap scares that make no sense. Even Hellfest was better than this movie, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, email and lapola 1138 at gmail.com. Um, actually I'm kind of curious in the comments below what your favorite type of these movies is. You know, if you like possession of Hannah Grace, that's fine, but you know, if you like stuff like Exorcist of Emily Rose, like I was talking about earlier, you know, I'm kind of interested to see what your favorite possession movie is, what you like about it. So, but that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.